What is happening everyone? Welcome to G-Ball Vision. Today we have an exciting unboxing to dig into. We'll go ahead and use our OEM Keith the Knife Freak channel unboxing knife. Link will be in the description to Keith's Instagram if you are interested in acquiring such a beautiful slicing cutting tool. So let's dig into this guy here. This is pretty exciting because so i reached out to f and grow which i have no previous experience with f and grow and i asked them if they would be interested in sending anything in for testing and review purposes and they said yeah we'll send something in so we got ourselves a little knife here to open up nice little packaging here f and grow typically they their price range is usually 20 to like 40 dollars somewhere in that ballpark uh and i have had one of their knives previously so you have a little two-stage box there and then your knife comes in a cellophane wrapper. So right off the get-go, we have some burlap micarta scales here. Simple construction. We got two body screws and then a pivot screw. Thick pocket clip here. Will be tip-up carry, right hand only. This is a flipper only, it looks like. Big old, it's kind of cool how they on lay these onto the steel frame it's not it's heavy this is a pretty good size knife let's okay black wash finish d2 steel they give you some good access to the liner there centered up yeah that's nice and centered Detent is pretty good, actually. Lockup is sitting pretty about 25, about 30%, actually. Easy to disengage. Light switch is good. Push button is good. Now... The model of this one is the F and Grow EF973 and then the green canvas burlap micarta. It's not canvas, it's burlap micarta. Now, right now on Amazon, they have a 5% coupon code for these. They're coming in at $26.99. They do have a couple different flavors of this guy. They have the green one here. They have a black micarta version, and then they have a brown micarta version. The overall length, it looks like it's going to be about nine inches or so. Yeah, that's Almost, yeah, it's right at nine inches. You have a four to here, four, four and a quarter to here, cutting edge, three and three quarter. So this is definitely a full size knife here. They are saying the Rockwell is 58 to 60 on the D2 steel, which from my recollection, that is... That's right on point for D2 steel. And I think if I remember correctly, uh, testing that's been done on F and Grows D2 has resulted in it being properly done. So that's what we can expect from F and Grow with regards to their d2 steel it should be properly heat treated and one thing i do like about this particular one is it's black washed so not only does it look pretty good i could deal without the ef there but you know for 26 27 bucks which 
ultimately 5% off. Probably take it down around like 24 bucks or so. Uh, you know, you can deal with the EF. That's kind of minor. And then on the other side, all they have is the D2. You do have what looks like an aluminum anodized pivot collar. I like the pivot actually. It's not... It's uh, pretty unique looking, pretty cool. I like how it's got minimal hardware. Uh, the pocket clip is a little bulky, but seems to have pretty decent retention. And I like how the blade matches the clip and the liners. So that's pretty cool. I only have had experience, I think, with one F and Grow knife previously, and this was quite a while ago so this is you know really my second experience with an f and grow i do like the blade shape kind of reminds me at least the blade shape kind of reminds me of the migaron uh is it i think it's the migaron valona it, that's what it kind of reminds me of the blade shape and if you're not familiar with F and Grow at all, they have a literal ton of different knives on Amazon. Pages and pages of different knives. Usually, on average, I would say between $25 and $30 is probably a safe bet. This does have ball bearings uh, around the pivot. I believe a ceramic detent ball. Yes. The action's pretty good, especially that push button. And then, yeah, she definitely goes home. Blade play. Maybe a slight bit of wiggle, but let's get out our good screw here. T8 for the pivot. Yeah, the pivot was a touch loose. And then the body screws will be T6. And then the pocket cl clip screws will be T6. Yeah, that fixed. So it was just slightly, slightly loose. Did that change? Nope, centering is still on point. Let's go ahead and cut something. Let's cut something, baby. Am I hitting? Oh, no, it was just me. Okay. It's got a nice, nice shavy edge on this bad boy. I thought there was a little hint there, but I think it's just... Yeah. Nice. Okay. That's what we want in our cutting tool is it to be able to cut. Uh, you know, we'll do a overview of this guy and we'll do a review here in the not too distant future on this guy. Uh, I would say this micarta. Let's bring out a knife or two here. So let's bring out, just for a little comparison's sake, we have the new F and Grow here. We have the Civivi Baltair, also in burlap micarta. We have the Civivi Sokoki, also in burlap. We have the Concept Convict, also in a burlap. And then an oldie, but a goodie to me. This is the Buck 841 or the Buck Sprint Pro or Buck Sprint Pro Plus, something to that effect. And what I'm seeing is if you look at now, probably because it's the green, but you can see the quality of the micarta is right in line with Civivi's. These are brand new Civivi knives 2023. I think this might be 
not a 2023. Uh, I'm not sure when this knife was released, but I know these two were released this year. And it's, I think it's the exact same burlap micarta. Exactly the same. And that's a good thing because the Sakoki was... Now, I don't mind the, the stuff on the buck here. I'm not a huge fan of this darker brown. It's all right. Um, I would prefer this lighter brown, actually. But the Sakoki was some of the... This was the first burlap I ever had or experienced. But this was probably the best burlap micarta that I had experienced. The Convict is right there with this. And then they put the Baltair out, which also came in a burlap. And I'm just speaking to the quality of the micarta. It's If you didn't know any better, you might think this was a Civivi. If I held these three right here in front of you, you know, you might think this was a Civivi. So just a little comparison there to kind of show the quality of the micarta that F and Grow is using on this knife. I uh, think it speaks volumes for 26, 27 bucks. You can get great quality micarta, Civivi equivalent micarta or concept equivalent micarta, D2 steel. Uh, which is a great steel. It's a great user steel, especially when heat treated properly, of course. And then you top it off with a black wash finish and a usable blade shape. Uh, yeah, I, I think I remember uh, F and Grow saying this was a fairly popular knife for them. And I can see why. You know, it's a great big old size, nice and hand filling. Uh, usable pocket clip, good canvas micarta, nice strong steel liners, good action around the pivot there, fidgety as hell for sure, nice usable drop point blade, came nice and sharp. We'll do an overview of this guy here coming up, guys. That'll wrap it up for this one. Give me a thumbs up. Let me know down in the comments if you have any F and Grows, what you think of this F and Grow, or just let me know what you have in your pocket today. If you're new to the channel or you've been here before and you are not subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button right down below the video, or you can click the G-Ball Vision logo about to pop up on the center of your screen. I love y'all. Have a good one, and I will catch you on the next one.